back everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos and you've made it back to my channel. I've been gone a little bit, but guess what? It's the Halloween season. So yeah, things got complicated. A little a lot of stuff going on and and doing things in order. I don't even know. I got busy. I'm not busy now. But what I Yeah. That was good. But what I but I what I'm gonna do is I've got a couple places I want a nice little haul so I have a nice little uh, trick or treat haul to show off and uh, that's gonna happen today that's gonna happen tomorrow I'm gonna do two days full of all kinds of treats or am I gonna trick you spoiler alert there's really no trick to it okay so first up. Uh, on my little adventure, whatnot, uh, I ended up going on uh, quite a, quite a long s series of events. Uh, first, leaving the house uh, because I'm a old man. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm an old man. I had to stop by Walgreens and get my prescriptions. And what did that? But while I was there, what did I do? I looked around. And what did I find? I found the Walgreens exclusive Universal Studios Monsters Wolfman. <laughs> so, you know, I just had to grab him and scoop him up. And, uh,. Yeah, that was just uh, that was a that was a lovely surprise. I wasn't actually expecting to find any of the Universal Studios because my Walgreens kind of sucks. But uh, ah, let's get it. Look, this is this is the Larry Talbot, aka uh, oh, this is he's full on got a oh, that's awesome. He's Oh, I've got the uh, bear trap on his ankle. I did not even see that when I picked when I picked that up. Oh, that is so cool! Oh, that is so awesome. That that makes this cooler than the yeah. I was worried that you know oh well it's just another werewolf, but no with the with the. The bear trap adds something huge to it. That is very cool. But that's not the only thing I got from Walgreens. Because I also found the legendary Bride of Frankenstein. And this was something that I really wanted. Um, you know, I love the Wolfman. I love Lon Chaney Jr. Um, but... You know, there have been how many werewolf movies out there? Mm, quite a few. But there's only one. Bride of Frankenstein. And that is Elsa Lanchester. Mm, let me pull this out. She's got the classic hair. And before some of you horror nuts start going, oh, well, you know, I know about The Bride. I know that they have done a Frankenstein creating a woman several times. But there's only been one time when they actually called it The Bride of Frankenstein. And with the classic streaks. And, oh, God, yes. The, the figure is very simplistic, but, like, it's all in the detail. It is so awesome. And yes, she is so, this is so great. This makes it, this is the reason why it's, why it's such a mm, iconic character, even though. Mm. So those were the pops that I got when I went to Walgreens. Nice little surprise there. I was not expecting that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set the boxes aside because trust me, this table is going to get full. Okay. So after I went to Walgreens and got my medications, 
<laughs> so I could breathe. Uh, I traveled on and I went to uh, the Dark History Convention in Champaign, Illinois, which uh, it's a annual thing for me, even though I had to skip last year because they didn't have one last year. But uh, I went, I looked around, there was all kinds of great stuff. Uh, I didn't pick up much like I normally did, didn't really film as much as I thought I would, uh, but it's all good. It'll just build up for the next year. But what I did pick up was Cults and Cannibals and Killers <laughs> activity book, which this is, this is just funny. Ed Kemp Kemper. It's got a pogo mask on the back, for God's sake. Yeah. Evil clown mask. <laughs> a little John Wayne Gacy, if you didn't already know. Um, but yeah, there's uh, plenty of... Uh, you can color them. There's activities in here. Um, little explanation on the various super... Not super, superhero, superhero serial killers that uh, were involved in here. Um, spotting the difference with uh, with Kemper. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, just unsettling. And yes, this is autographed by the editor. I also got the editor's book since he was like the main reason why I had to go, which here it is. John Wayne Gacy, Hunting a Predator. This is a collection of uh, uh, interviews. Uh, it's the evidence list that they had against Gacy, uh, official statements, uh, technician reports on, ex on the excavation because he buried his people in his crawl space. Um, there is just so much, he always puts so much detail into his books. He always does that. He also does a lot of documentaries and, uh, I didn't even see this. Uh, I didn't even see this, uh, but this is, uh, a nice little, uh, oh, there's a little postcard with him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put his, the link to his stuff. Uh, down below, uh, and there's a little list of the documentaries you can watch that he has made. Um, he's made one on uh, Albert Fish, H.H. H. Holmes, and he's working on the uh, uh, John Wayne Gacy, and he's got uh, he's got a series called Serial Killer Culture. If you're into that kind of thing, and it just sh it showcases a lot of people's uh, uh what a lot of other people do like uh i i don't even want to get into it because it can get gruesome but uh yeah lots of photograph lots of dark stuff the pursuit arrest and conf confession of john wayne gacy <sighs> yes and he is making a documentary, uh, filming the documentary right now. So uh, if you do check these out and you like them, there's more. Oh, yeah. See, he's got, he even autographed a little card for me because that's just awesome of him. Wow. <sighs> Sorry. He looks excited over there. Where, where did I go after I left, uh, uh, after I left the, there? I went... I went somewhere. Hmm. I think I was looking because uh, I think we headed out to Hot Topic and I was looking for Pops. And the only ones they had were their exclusives. And it, they had like White Lantern, Sinistro. They had um, like Black Hand and all these other characters. And some I had, some I didn't really want. The only one I did want was actually uh, a Jerry the King Lawler that looked like somebody had 
punched it. But, and it was the only one of its kind. And it was just kind of like, why? Why is it even there? But it was very, very sparse. And uh, makes me wonder about that particular store. Because mm, that mall's getting pretty empty anyway. So, uh, went ahead and left there. And then we moved on. Uh, we went to a very important place. Uh, I do believe it is known popularly as Spirit Halloween. Oh, yes. And you know I had to get some stuff into Spirit Halloween. I won't be showing everything I got from Spirit Halloween because, well, some of it's probably going to end up being a prop later on. So you'll see it. You just won't know it's from that trip. Um, <laughs> yes, this little cane. I got this guy there. Um, and he apparently glows in the dark, but I haven't tested him yet. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> and he's a wicked little, mm, we won't say what he is a wicked little thing of, but surprisingly enough, uh, even though I had already gone to Hot Topic looking for Funko Pops, at Spirit Halloween, I did find one. And that was the Sam from Trick or Treat Spirit Halloween exclusive. <laughs> that is awesome. I right, come on. We got S Sam. I love going because uh, I also I also went to uh, Barnes and Noble later on looking for pops. Didn't find any. They had plenty, but none of the ones that uh, I wanted. Um, so I think it's kind of funny that. When I actually went pop hunting, I came up empty, but when I went looking for other things, I found Sam, and this, and I didn't have a Sam at all, so this is really, really well done, and oh goodness, it is Sam with a little, little candy cane, it looks like, uh, and, uh. Yeah, the detail on this guy, the patches. I love this movie. I love this character. Uh, and I am so glad to have this. Um, I'm not sure if this is the only Sam I'm going to get. But uh, if it is, I could have done a lot worse. But that wasn't the lap. But that wasn't the crown. That wasn't the biggest thing, the awesome thing that I got while I was at Spirit Halloween. The most important item that was got was <laughs> the can the, the cotton candy gun from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This thing made me stop in my tracks. This is so exactly just like it is in the movie. Um, the only difference is it doesn't actually shoot out a pink little ray that turns somebody into a cotton a big roll of cotton candy but well it might i'm gonna check later and see if that worked looking kind of sweet there <laughs> but yes one of the best movies of all time. One of the craziest movies of all time. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And I've got the gun. This, honestly, I had gone through uh, Spirit Halloween without actually thinking I was actually going to buy anything. But then when this guy showed up, when this guy just popped up, it was the only one there, too. So I'm, I'm guessing I'm pretty lucky that I was able to catch it. But yeah, this guy influenced me to buy more. What the heck? And, uh, yeah, then after we got that done, uh, we continued on to uh, Barnes & Noble. Yeah, this was one heck of a haul. And I picked up Invisible Men, Trailblazing Black Artists of Comic Books. This is uh, being somewhat of a, uh, a comic book historian. I love the history and the creation, that's why you see me turn my nose up at certain things, uh, because uh, I follow the entire history of, uh, of comic books from the time when uh, a certain man 
uh, took a bunch of comic book or uh, comic strips and bound them together and then later decide to put a 10 cent price tag on it to pretty much what we know now of digital and more movies to than we can watch and yeah more characters than we can keep track of but you know what it's the medium that I love and I love reading the history especially a lesser known part of history and uh yeah this is a these were guys you know a lot of the golden age uh artists and writers um this is primarily of artists i believe um go unnoticed from the golden age i mean we've got a list of them we know who some of them were um but a lot of them died in obscurity. There were a lot more women and a lot more black people than was previously believed. Um, and that's basically because none, none of them got any credit. But um, when it came time to look at, oh, well, who were these artists? <sighs> so a couple groups got pushed to the back. And uh, it'll be interesting to read. I mean just right off the cover i mean i don't recognize uh this guy i don't recognize i mean this is obviously a zombie from whoever knows where but this is blue beetle and this is phantom lady so this is uh history this is history for everybody it's just a more complete history and uh i can't wait to dive into this big big guy but as in everything, eventually I had to come home. It's always hard having to come home after a fun little Halloween spree. But when I got home, there was a box outside my door. And yes, I ordered it, but I was not expecting it to show up on the same day. So this was really cool. And it fits the theme. And this is a kid. This is somebody that, uh, he's appeared on my channel several times. Every chance I get. And here's another chance. Bam! I got the three pack, the Funko Shop exclusive, Glow in the Dark, Saturday Night Live, David S. Pumpkins with his skeletons. I only have the, only had the David S. Pumpkins. Now I've got his backup. If you haven't seen, look it up on YouTube. The freaking David S. Pumpkins, David Pumpkins sketch from Saturday Night Live. You won't be disappointed. It is hysterical. And uh, this, this glows in the dark. This is really cool. It's got all three of them. I'm guessing all three of them do. Um, I haven't had it long enough to actually attempt to make it glow yet. But uh, I'm going to take a look at it. Uh, you know, I have the regular David S. Pumpkins. And looking at it. Yeah, so he glows and you can really tell. I, I would almost guarantee his little pumpkins glow like crazy. Uh, that's what I'm gathering from looking at this guy. Oh, the whole stripe, everything. This was so... The the fun part about it is, you know, it looks like a cheap little uh, Halloween costume that he's wearing, and it absolutely is. Um, the funny part, uh, the reason why it's the pumpkin was because it was a last-minute thing. They ran out to a costume shop, and that was the only costume that they really had. So uh, he put it on. They called it David Pumpkin's. And uh, by the next day, you could not find this costume in any store. And of course, when you get down to the scoop. <laughs> and as I've said before, and I've said a lot, when trying to figure out what David Pumpkins is, he's his own thing. And the skeletons are part of it. So yeah, this is going to be one heck of a fun little 
uh, it was a fun little haul. It was a really great haul, and I'm really happy to uh, find my find out how my stuff glows and uh, get right into it. And tomorrow's Halloween, and if you don't think I'm going to do something else to make up for my long little absence there that I had, or a little extended absence uh, that I had uh, before, ooh, excuse me, before getting to this, getting this video done, uh, you're very much mistaken, because I've got something planned for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, it's going to be big. So, be there, sweetie.